back again viewers and his vlogs and food reviews here today and yes we're back again viewers it's time for another takeaway tuesday today we're situated at george's fish bar between Greybridge and west bromwich we're going to pop inside see what's on the menu and we'll be back in a moment Right then viewers, we're back. Now before I get into, into Takeaway Tuesday, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for the lovely messages and the support I've had on the community page and in the chats. It's been absolutely fantastic, the support. It uh, meant so much to me. Um, yeah, I just had a few problems outside of um, YouTube that I had to sort out and uh, I can happily say they're all uh, resolved now. So we're going to be back to um, being behind the camera again and doing some more top videos for you legends who are kind enough to watch and subscribe to the channel. Right then, viewers, if you just bear me one moment, um, I'll uh, open the bag and show you what I've got. Now, first of all, viewers, before I get into it, um, they haven't got a menu, so I'll just go through a normal quick what quick recap of what they've got they've got the usual fish and chips pine chips jumbo sausages um kebab um all the usual chip shop things that you normally get you name it they've got it in there but i haven't opened the uh, lid yet viewers but uh, wait till you see these chips in great bridge they do it a lot of places do batter chips but in great great bridge this is actually the second place that I've ever seen. Look at that for the chip viewers. I mean, look at that. It's more red, isn't it? Look at that. It's like it's got. It's, it's like it's got chicken tikka in it, hasn't it? Um. So, what do you make of those chips, viewers? Have you ever tried some chips like that before? Well, it's like I say. If you do come to Great Bridge, it's the second place that I know to that does those kind of chips. So, um, yeah. Right then, we'll try the chips first, and let's try this. Uh, this red one. now viewers I've got to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed with that that's a bit better that one the first one was actually a bit crunchy inside like it hadn't been cooked properly let's uh, try some more the second one was a bit better Yeah, that one's better. It might have just been an odd chip, but the first one was a bit uh, chunky, and so you could actually taste it. Um, it hadn't been cooked properly the first one, but the second, the latter two were a lot better. So let's just try some from the bottom. Got too many there. We got our usual takeaway Tuesday train spork, as you can see. Yeah, those chips are better. It must have just been an odd one. Um, let's try the kebab. Right now, the total price of this was six pound fifty. I did mention, forget to uh, mention the price for donut kebab, chips, and a chicken and mushroom pie. So it was six pound fifty. Um. The kebab's okay. It's a bit cardboardy, to be honest. It's not brilliant. It's a bit cardboardy, that, for my liking. Yeah, it's not the best kebab that I've had. I've had better. Like I say, viewers, that's just my opinion, and my opinion only. As you know, my usual phrase. It's okay, but 
which is cardboard, it tastes a bit like cardboard in place. You can see there, look, clearly see, that's a bit, um, it's not the best for me, that, I've had better. Right, let's try the chicken and mushroom pie. Well, that certainly makes up for it. That's a lot better. It tastes very nice. I'm impressed with the pie. Um, it's got that proper pucker, uh, pucker taste to it. I was going to try a uh, chicken balti pie, but they haven't got any. So, I, it, I just don't eat steak and kidney, so it was either chicken and mushroom or beef and onion. They do meat and potato as well in there, I do believe. Right then, so... What do we think? Well, first of all, we'll do a quick recap. We've been to George's, which is situated between Great Bridge and West Bromwich. Right. So, back to the food. Well, first of all, we tried the chips, didn't we? And the proper proper red chips. Uh, don't see many of these, like I said before, dear uh, red chips. Um, the, f the first one, as you know, it was... It was quite chunky in the middle, like it hadn't been cooked properly. But I tried a few more just to see, and it appeared that the other few seemed to be a lot more cooked better. The kebab's nice, but in places it's very dry and it's very it's a bit cardboardy in places for, for me. It's quite tough and rock hard, which is not the best kebab to be honest. And the, ch the chicken and mushroom pie is probably the best part of the meal, to be fair. That is really nice. I love that pucker taste to it when it's got that, um, as you can see, it's got that proper, uh, look at that virus. It looks nice, doesn't it? Well, it is. It's very nice, the pie. So I would recommend the pie, definitely. The chips, like I say, um, I'll... I'll I'll put it down as that the first one was just a bad bad chip. It can happen. Um, so I'll put, I will say that. The kebab, I don't think I'd probably have, have too many of them from George's, to be honest. It's it, it just, it's not for me. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, not, not like the kebab that I've had before. It's, it seems, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it's fresh kebab or if it's been in the, the, the truck jar when they go out the containers. Whether it's been in the containers a bit longer than necessary. But that's just, like I say, my overall opinion on George's. And I, I know some people will like George's and I'll have a different view. But that is entirely your decision. Right then, what do we think regarding the score? And the price was 6 50 I'm going to say 8 out of 10 viewers, yeah, I'm going to go for an 8 out of 10, because I think the kebab could be a lot better, and like I say, we did have, um, we have got the odd, the odd bad chip, but that might be just me being picky, but the kebab, really, I, I don't think I'll eat much of that, to be honest, but I think 8 out of 10 is um, a fair reflection on, on the food, I think. So thanks ever so much again for watching Takeaway Tuesday and thanks, nice to be back it really is and thanks like I say to all the support again, I can't thank you enough. So thanks to everybody for watching the video, I hope you all have a fantastic day, thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel of late, I really do appreciate it and thanks to all the lovely comments. I'll see you on the next one and it's bye for now.